Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to make a cake, a chocolate cake. And today is my father's birthday, so I'm making a cake for him. Uh, so let's see how to make a cake. Now let's start. Okay, uh, first one cup of maida. One cup of maida. Now one spoon of baking powder. Now half spoon of baking soda. Now two spoons of cocoa powder. Another spoon. Okay. Now. Okay. After. Uh, why you are filtering means if you filter the cake will come so fluffy and like soft okay for that we are filtering this now just mix it now mix it and now mix this and keep it aside so we'll make make the next part now uh, the next step is add some sugar 3 by 4 cup of sugar okay now curd 3 by 4 same 3 by 4 cup As per your quantity, you can add like more or lesser, lesser than this. Now, 1 by 2 cup of oil. Okay, now, make, now let's mix it. Make sure that the uh, sugar is dissolved. Uh, now mix without lumps okay uh, that that's the thing now then it will come like spongy and th that thing now just like uh, one spoon of like one spoon of vanilla essence vanilla essence now mix it mixing this last step last step we did that right the cocoa powder and maida that those things now we should mix this and this we should mix this and this now now at for uh, we did this right now now this one we should mix the uh, the cocoa powder maida and we mix those right now we should mix these both now let's mix it make sure that no more lumps will be there while mixing after mixing Now mix it. Make sure there do not be lumps. Means bubbles. Okay. After mixing this. It's like so thick right. See. So uh, for a smooth. We, for a smooth and spongy. We need to add some milk. Uh, you should boil the milk and let it cool down for some time. Then uh, I'm taking that milk. Now add add uh, like little bit little bit if you add once then like uh, it will not come properly little bit little bit by like how it's getting like use the cut and fold method I am add, adding some more milk Okay. Okay. After mixing, uh, adding the milk. This consistency we need ribbon consistency. See. Okay. Now uh, we should keep the cake for baking, right? I'm doing without oven. So now add some sand sand and keep something on it some stand anything
now i took the baking pan uh, i don't have the butter paper so i am applying some uh, butter on it then some maida you should take some maida and apply on it so i am going to mix it now i mixed the butter here see you can see now now some of the maida now i applied the maida and the butter now take the batter which we made uh, now pour into this you should put the batter 1 inch low if you put like fully then uh, like it will come outside so i poured the batter into this now you should tap because see these bubbles you can see right see this should not come that for that for avoiding that now it's heated so i'm going to put in this i keep it keep it in this i kept the uh, cake batter in this now uh, leave it for 30 to 35 minutes and after baking the cake i'll show what's the process and keep it in medium flame while uh, baking after 35 minutes i open the cake and open and saw it it came so perfectly and see but to test whether it's good or not see should if it comes so neatly uh, in the to the knife then it's baked properly if it's sticking and coming out it bake it for 5 to 10 minutes again then uh, after baking uh, after baking now uh, you should not take that cake immediately okay now if we take the immediately a uh, cake the immediately then what will happen means it will get stick to the uh, baking pan then like it will not come properly if it cool downs like completely just leave it for 10 to 15 minutes uh, leave it like that or uh, for some time uh, it will get cool so then you can take out the cake uh, slowly so it will come so neat and okay okay decorated the cake now and it's not looking that much nice but i it did not come that much properly but okay only the decoration part was nice i didn't get whipping cream outside that's why so okay okay so bye bye and see you in the next video